Last week on Living With A Rotary, I showed you guys my low compression budget RX-8 that I picked up for just £650. And sure, it's got panel damage and is running low on blinker fluid, but it came with a free sock. So all in all, a most excellent purchase has been executed. We are here at a very familiar place, Surrey Rolling Road, where we're going to be putting the car on the dyno to find out how much power it doesn't make. So I'm going to introduce Charlie to put the car onto the dyno. Now, compression on this car is brilliant. Door's still damaged. Compression on this is a little bit low, so hopefully it makes it. Yes! Oh, Christ. That we didn't even script that. The reason why RX-8 suffer with hot start issues is most commonly down to low compression caused by apex seal wear. And this occurs because the center of each seal doesn't get as much lubrication as the outer edges, meaning that gas leakage and thus low compression is the result. If your car suffers from low compression, then you'll also notice a drop in power, which I have. But how much? We're about to find out. Right guys, you recognize Charlie from Sorry Rolling Road. You dynoed Phil about three or four years ago. We made 113 points. 8 horsepower. That's etched in my mind forever. Uh, we dynoed the E36 M3. Uh, you gave me a really bad result on that. I was disappointed with you on that day. It was only about 279. It's not doing it, I'm afraid. Today, it's going to be crunch time. We've obviously got the RX-8. It's got a few problems. I'm thinking it's not going to quite hit 231 horsepower, but they never really came with that from factory, did they? Most of these dyno at around 200 to 210 flywheel horsepower. Going with the state of the car, I'm thinking we're probably around the 170 mark. I'm going to be happy with 180, Jack. 169.7. Uh, 169.7. <laughs> All right, so we've got an average of around 175. 175. All right, shall we find out? Let's do it. Well, let's hope it starts first. Yeah, Wow. Well off where it should be. It's f***ed. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, compression, as we know, it's, is, it's is pretty poor. Yeah. So if you own a Mazda RX-8 and if you paid around £650 for it, then don't expect any more than 162.9 horsepower. Right, so Charlie, before I, I take this, this poor boy home, explain the graph, what we're looking at here. So one of these should just have a that the power curves are relatively straight on them. So they have a flat torque curve and the power just climbs all the way up, usually somewhere up there, yeah. not in this case. Um, so we're down here and, and we've got various dips in the power curve which shouldn't be there. Um, and it, We're making 120 foot pound of torque, which is a good 25 under what they should be. It just indicates a very sick car and I suspect it, you, when you tear it down you'll find it's rather lacking in compression. Absolutely. Uh, one more question as well, uh, wheel horsepower. Wheel horsepower for your American viewers is 134. Once this car is rebuilt we're going to bring it back and we're going to hopefully see over 200. I'd want to see 200 at the fly. Oh, 170 right. wheel I would think All right, is what we'll we want to see. Hold me. Daddy? You'll remember last week that I asked you guys to suggest a name for our new RX-8. I've now compiled the top voted names, so it's your turn to vote for your favourite in the top right corner. I'll reveal the winning name next week. 
Join us next week on Living with a Rotary, where I'll be taking my asthmatic RX-8 to the experts at Rotary Revs for a full engine teardown. See you then. Right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, fairly miserable episode. What a, what a result that was. That was terrible. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you check out the rest of the series by clicking this link. Subscribe to Car Throttle here, and don't forget to check out the Car Throttle shop down there. You can find really cool stuff like this piston jumper, Christmas jumper. Piston Christmas jumper? Why am I wearing that? What a silly boy I am! Anyway, see you next time.